we have found our untiring support for your administration and being stakeholders in that big family of ethnic groups. We will continue to uphold collaboration as a veritable unifying force that will drive the interests of all sections of the state. Your Excellency, you have touched the lives of Calabar people like no other. I assure you that your footprints in Calabar land will remain indelible for generations to come. It is our prayer that God Almighty will continue to guide and protect you through your political journey towards 2023 and the years ahead. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be one, and it will remain one. Today, we are going to honor you with the title of Kabarise Iminogimo, meaning he who loves. He who does things, good things, for the Calabari people. Sure. But let me tell you also one thing you may not be happy. I thought today, as you are receiving me, I'll be received with my deputy governor. Because no one man, no one person can do it alone. You have had a deputy governor before for a year? Yes. Well on that military or whatever. You've had people in office who have made promises to you and the promises have not been kept. But you have had one deputy governor for the first time, a woman who is working with me and all the promises I've made to you is being fulfilled. So I thought, I thought, as you're honoring me, as you're receiving me, so also my deputy governor should be honored and safe. Because I tell you, in this work we are doing, there are those who are not nurse makers. There are those who are quiet people, but will put in their words to the governor, and the governor will listen to them. She's been everything as far as government is concerned, and she's somebody with experience. And I think you should honor her because she has done evil very well too. Anybody went on the river state to you, make you come see you. Hey, I, so all I have done and will do for you people is also because she will be a very loyal deputy governor, a very submissive deputy governor, not an ambitious deputy governor. Yes, sir, we so, but I want to believe that because governorship is one, government has is one, this honor you are giving to me also includes her. Maybe in your, in your time you would dress her in your own traditional uh, way. You know, people will have your own way of you are doing your own women. Maybe don't want to do it with me as a man. Uh, maybe I, I suspect that. But I think that you have also honored that here. Now, my brothers and sisters, let me commend all those, first of all, let me commend their traditional rulers, particularly the Amarabo of Abonima. If you know me, anybody who knows me know too well. I don't come to the public and say what I don't mean. Anything I tell you is what is in my mind. If you are somebody who has nothing to help your people 
contribution, I will tell them. This Yamana boy you are seeing here, I want to tell you I respect him a lot. I do. When the promises were made to me, I'm an of Abonima for slots, which was not made. When we came here for campaign, I went to his house and I told him, look, yes, I'm a politician because I'm going to run under a political party. But let me tell you, I'm not going to speak as a politician. I'm going to speak as a reverse man who says what he wants to do, who means well for his people. And as I come, and as I win election, I will recognize the stool of our honorable of our man to be first class. And I did it. <laughs> and every promise I had made to him, I've kept it because I do know in life we must, as human beings, tell ourselves the simple truth and not to play politics every, every time. Today, people like Nimi Briggs, Professor Nimi Briggs spoke here. People like Dumalulu Briggs, people like my, my sister, Anke Briggs, they spoke. It is not a party affair. Me and Dumalulu Briggs were not in the same party. Pastor Nimi Briggs is an elder statesman, former VC of one of the most renowned universities, University of Port Harcourt. Anke Briggs has been a human rights activist. She speaks for you today, she speaks against you tomorrow. It's not because of you, it's because of issues, principles. I want to thank you, all of you. For me to be one of those you have honored in the category of the history of our Karabala kingdom in Abalama. Godon, there's no mistake of Alabama. Here is Alabama. Here is Alabama. It's not Alabama. They did not make mistake. If there are those who made mistake, Americans took the name of Alabama here. And when they say Alabama, so I thank all of you. When I came here for campaign, and that is why I believe the problem we have in this country is for all of us, traditional rulers, youths, women. You have allowed politicians and businessmen to tell you lies up and down. They tell you I'm from Calabari, I'm from Mikwere, I'm from Ogoni, I'm from Mbaye, I'm from Okrika, I'm from here, I'm from that. Tell you things that will swear you. And at the end of the day, nobody, none of you, have ever asked questions. Today, I want to tell all of you, I commend the totally why we initiated the transcribery road. The totally initiated and awarded this transcribery road. Contract was given to the Calabari songs. It was not done. Let us tell ourselves the simple uh, truth. Dr. Peter Adley awarded the uh, hold on this Abanima Ring Road it was Dr. Peter Adley it is initiator government is a continuum but the idea to conceive to think about that this is what is going to help our people. He may not have finished it, but he conceived the idea. If the former administration has followed today, we will have been talking about that transcriber, that uh, ring road. I came, 
And I said, yes, it is a road that will help us. And we have done it. But first of all, you must give commendation to the initiator, to the man who thought about it, to say, if we want this place to move on, there must be this ring road, even though he may not have finished it at his own time. He conceived Trans Calabari Road. He may not have finished it. Government is a continuum. And that's why I'm here to finish those things. He may have started, and some other people may have abandoned for the interests of our people. Anybody went out there in that state, you know, make it go see you. Yes, I'll be there. So for me, it is not me. It is the man who conceived that idea. It is the man who thought about it. But this period could not allow him to finish it. And now we have the opportunity. We must give him that God will thank you for giving us a man who conceived the idea. For giving us a man who thought about this. And again, for giving us a man who has come to complete it. That is what governance is uh, all about. And that's the way I think government should be. All of you here, you sat here. People came, promised you this, promised you that. They will do this, they will do that. I told you, and I told the Amenable, and all the other Amenables, and I said, Anything I say to you, I'm not going to run as governor of River State again. But I will be happy to say, I made a promise to my people. Have I kept to that promise? And that is what's important in life. When I came, the Obama Bridge Bridge was awarded by Amechi my predecessor, but for eight years was not completed. When the Secretary of Government came to me, he was not Secretary of Government then. My friend, Dr. Tommy Danagro, he came to me. I said, look, in 100 days in office, we must complete it. And we did it. Yes, the Ring Road, David Brick came, Danagro came. Is there any way? We can do this. I said, go home and sleep. I will do it. By the grace of God, today, I have done it. People talk about, you see, all of you here, you will change tomorrow. Anybody who is in any government, and you cannot come home and tell your people, I'm a member of this government. I belong to Buhari's administration. There's nothing wrong in you belonging to Buhari's administration. What is wrong is you not bringing dividend of democracy from Buhari's administration to your people. I cannot serve a government that will not remember my people. Shame to any politician, anybody who has contact to anybody in government. I cannot bring anything to your people. Shame. What did I say? Say it again. Say it again. Again or again. I feel happy. I'm living as a governor of the state. I tell my wife. I feel honored. I will not embarrass you and my children. I told you I will do this and let the people of Calabar ask me, have you done it? I will not come here to campaign for PDP for 2023 election. If everything I have promised to the people of Calabar and I did not do it. I will not be here. I won't come. 
I want to tell you today. As politicians, you told us this. Have you done it? My deputy governor was showing me Obama school, Harris time. She showed me the Bacala school. Don't I said, how do you see it? It's a beautiful. I have done it. Let me tell you. Listen to me. Let me tell all of you. I'm not here to call it favor. Whatever God said anybody will be, will be. Do you understand me? I said, what is transcribery? No amount of gang up, not one. Not one. Can make PDP to provide somebody who will want to run an election for interest of some big men, but not for Nigerians. It will not work. Everybody wants to be candidate of PDP, must be candidate for the interest of Nigerians. Nobody, not one. Not one. The day the South will speak, Nigeria will shake. Let, let me tell all of you, nobody should be afraid. Not, not one. We believe in the unity of this country. I will maintain the nature of this country. But nobody can threaten us. Nobody should threaten us. Uh, we believe in the unity of Nigeria, and the unity of Nigeria will continue. But what I'm trying to tell you, as intelligent people, as people who are knowledgeable, you must know how to put yourself uh, together. That was the point. And two, unity is key. Unity is what? Keep. You to keep your house in there. When you keep your house in order, you have an opportunity to be anything. But anybody who wants to be governor must show capacity that he wants to be what? You will change tomorrow. Anybody who is in any government, and you cannot come home and tell their people, I'm a member of this government. I belong to Buhari's administration. There's nothing wrong in you belonging to Buhari's administration. What is wrong is you not bringing dividend of democracy from Buhari's administration to your people. I cannot serve a government that will not remember my people. Shame to any politician, anybody who has contact to anybody in government and cannot bring anything to their people. Shame. Shame. What did I say? Shame. Say it again. Shame. Say it again. Shame. Say it again. Shame. I feel happy. I'm living as a governor of the state. People can promise you this, promise you that. They will do this, they will do that. I told you, and I told the Amanabo, and all the other Amanabos, and I said, anything I say to you, I'm not going to run as governor of River State again. But I will be happy to say, I made a promise to my people. Have I kept to that promise? And that is what's important in life. They say we can the economy of Nigeria is going down. Is it not correct? Is it not correct? They say so much unemployment. Is it not correct? The amount of unemployment is high. Is not correct? Is it not correct? No, but you see every day some companies post profit and profit and profit. Right? If the economy, if the economy profit, who are the beneficiaries of the profit? The poor men are dying. The rich men are getting higher profit. Not be so. 
Not be so. No employment going on yet. People are posting, uh, posting hard profits. So, I told the contractor, I will give you additional two months. Therefore, we are not expecting the job to be completed by May. We are expecting the job to be completed by June, July, August. Because of the kidnap, all of you, you know them. You know them. I can I don't understand. You say this is a problem to Calabar people. And someone that wants to solve problem. And you are sabotaging it. Is that life? That's not fair. That's not fair. For me, any problem, the thing I want to tell you, there are two jobs remaining. About currency, right? I have I cancelled the contract. Now, I've cancelled it because because I see politics, the man does not want to come in. That one of Mary Wood, let me tell you, the contractor by next week will be given additional fund to make sure that it finishes Mary Wood Secondary uh, School. Every other, the only thing I'm going to people here, the only thing that is in my blood here now is transcribed by the. And there's one money I'm looking for. If that money comes, I've told the Minister of Wars to speak with the contractor and look at the cost for the second phase. <laughs> no, listen, 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 listen. You know, before you tell the story, I said, I promise you I will do the second phase. I don't know. I said, look at the cost. If the cost is what I can carry, let me tell you, my brother. I will pay it 100%. Any contractor coming has no problem. Let you know I finish it. Thank you, sir. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, because God gives you opportunity. God gives you opportunity to say, look, the only thing we have is to thank God Almighty for what He has done in our lives. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.